Hello! Welcome back to another episode of MK's Kitchen. Feeling very tomboyish today with my little braids and snapback. Do you like it? <laughs> so today, our recipe is going to be a little healthy, a little weight loss driven, a little recipe for the colds because we know that we're about to transition into spring. And there's a lot of coughs and allergies and sneezes going on. So we're going to do cabbage soup, the crock pot way. So y'all, let's get into these ingredients. So for our ingredients, of course, our main character, the good old green cabbage. We got us some chicken broth, carrots, celery, diced tomatoes, all of our seasonings, and of course, our crock pot. We're gonna go ahead and set that on high. Gonna get to cutting our cabbage. <laughs> okay, so I went ahead and peeled off some of the layers of our cabbage. I'm gonna just go ahead and cut that. It doesn't have to be perfect cuts. You just want it to cut enough. take those pieces and break them off and throw them into our car as we cut them our carrots and our celery. I'm gonna chop that up and put it in the crock pot too. <laughs> okay, so we have our celery. We have about four stalks. If you don't like celery, you can do less or more. We're gonna go ahead and cut off the ends. You can keep the leaves. It gives a little extra flavor to the soup. But if you don't want to do, of course, put them off. Okay, 
so our water pretty much fills up our crock pot as you can see you can see it right there don't worry too much about it because the cabbage and the celery and carrots are going to release some water as well so we're going to take our diced tomatoes and go ahead and pour those in there i know it looks really cool we're gonna stir it up we're gonna stir it up <laughs> but right now just trying to get our ingredients in there let's try to stir that a little bit We're gonna get to seasoning. Get some pepper in there. Take some salt. We got some Italian seasoning. Take just a few crushed red pepper flakes. Not too many if you don't want it too spicy. We're gonna take some garlic powder. And we're gonna take a little bit of cayenne pepper to give it just a little more kick. some parsley and for some added flavor we chopped a couple pieces of onion just gonna place that right on in there maybe kind of wilt down as it goes and then yeah stir that around it's a little full. <laughs> but that's pretty much it for our cabbage soup. And we'll be back in a couple hours to stir it. And in total time, we're going to let this cook on high for four hours. We'll be back. Subscribe. See you guys later. Bye.